The city of Pueblo plans to remove bike lanes from a busy one-way street just a year after they were painted. KRDO News Channel 13's Colleen Sikora is asking why. She's live on 5th Street tonight. And Colleen, cyclists aren't happy about this. Bart, these bike lanes are pretty unique. Fifth Street is a one way street, but here on the south side, the lanes run in both directions. Those who want the lanes gone call them dangerous for cyclists and confusing for drivers. But cyclists say the city is making a mistake. It comes a, as kind of a shock. Katie Johnson and her family use the bike lanes on Fifth Street all the time. At least once a week, if not more. But these markings. Will be gone by mid November. It makes a huge difference um, riding on the lanes that the cars aren't nearly as close to us. The lanes were installed with $100,000 from Kaiser Permanente a little more than a year ago. The grant was used to fund experimental bike lanes for two years, ending in June 2017. But city manager Sam Zod says the experiment will have to end early at a cost to the city. It's going to cost us some money. I don't know exactly how much. One of the biggest reasons for having the lane removed is that it's confusing for drivers along 5th Street. It's confusing. Uh, uh, it, it, it hindered uh, parking for their businesses and uh, deliveries for their businesses. Council member Lori Winner says her constituents aren't happy with the design. This particular design is just a disaster waiting to happen. And the experimental lanes need to go. We're, we're all about bike lanes, but not this one. Johnson claims the opposite, arguing the road is easy to navigate. That everything's well marked. I'm not sure how you would get confused. And she hopes the city will reconsider. I really hope that um, the city council members retract their idea to close the lanes. Now, the lanes are set to be removed by mid November. Currently, there's no plan in the works to add a different style of bike lane to Fifth Street. Live in Pueblo, Colleen Sikora, KRDO News Channel 13. Colleen.